312-316-2177. Um, 347, your line is open. Your name? Camille. Camille Harrison, how are you doing? Well, blessed in you. Now, Camille, tell us, what made you do the $1,000 seed today? Well, I, I wanted to do more. I was trying to do the 2010, but at this time, that's all I can do. But I want to help out with the library, and um, as soon as I get the rest, you'll have it. Well, th thank God. Don't ever make an apology for your seed when it's your best. You give God praise because God counts your leftovers, not your sorrows. Oh, shit. Ay, 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 be sata. Thank you, Jesus. God counts your leftovers. Okay, Camille, um, uh, this is not making any sense to me, but why is the Spirit saying to tell you to write a book? Do you have a journal by the side of your bed? Well, actually, no, but um, it's something that the prophets told me already that I should be writing down the ideas, and um, prophetess Kelly told me that as well. Get a journal oh, and keep, keep a journal with you, Camille. Mm -hmm. Your angels are coming to you with messengers. And you need to capture them, and you need to get ready, because you are going to write a book. Okay, I'll be prepared. You were ordained to sit with kings. Wow. You're supposed to be working very close with leadership in the church. Are you part of a local church, Camille? Not really. Um, have you been a part of a local church in the past? Mm, no, I, I just frequent churches, and I haven't really um, been a part of, uh, no, I haven't really been a part of it. No, I just, like, would go, but no, I haven't been organizing with them or doing anything. I was, I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be with you guys, yeah? Yes, and you need to come and be an active part. Now, let me ask you this one thing, Camille, before I release you to go on. Um, you had to take care of somebody sick growing up. Who was that? Somebody sick. Um, well, unfortunately, both of my parents are not well, and when I had to take care of them, I thought I was already grown, but apparently I'm not. <laughs> You thought so what? I guess I was no, I, I had to take care of them, but I was um, I was actually when they got very sick, I was I was not really growing up. I had already had children, but um, the both of them are not well, and it's it's pretty much um, the same. They've been um, ill for like the past thirteen years. Okay, so this is the heart. So you're doing this here now. Um, one thing. Yeah. Yeah, one other thing before I go, I'm going to release the prophets to speak to you. Um, did you have a brother? Oh, my. He's an alcoholic, and he gives a lot of trouble. Right. And was he younger than you? Yes, he's like four and a half years younger than me. Growing up, did you have to look after him? Yeah, I looked after him, but um, of late, we, we hadn't really been that close. Okay, let me ask you something. Was there some mental problem that you are aware of? Let me put it like that. Um, yes, I, um, it hasn't been really, um, it, oh dear. He had to have counseling because I, I don't know. It seems like there could be an imbalance, but we we haven't had it properly addressed. Right. So growing up, he was a real hardship in the family, wasn't he? Yeah, because when he would do the stuff, um, you know, our parents would um, act as so, oh, you know, especially my mom, that we didn't exist, and, and everything was just about him. And that's the person you were taking care of as a child growing up. 
you know something? I hadn't really even thought of it like that, <laughs> but I oh, guess it, so. It, it's okay. But what I meant, it was it it it, it, it disrupted your upbringing that you was. It, it was, or better yet, it was just the path that you had to take. Let's put it that way. Yeah, and I, I even think my sister, she still resents him right now. Right. Now, God is using your gifts, and you're going to come forth, and this is not an accident that you're connecting with the prophets at this time, because you're going to walk among the prophets, saith the Lord. We're going to continue on Prophet Cynthia. Yes, and I hear the word of the Lord. God said this is a season for you of a spiritual awakening. Um, and the Lord said this will be a time when you're going to start to understand the principle of God, the ways of God, and God said you're going to operate in them. So get ready. God is giving you greater insight, and that's the word of the Lord. Amen. And Sister Camille, I further hear the word of the Lord saying to you that in this season, I have birthed in you the style and gift of writing. And in this, you are to take that gift and those unique styles of writing poetry, and you're starting to make it and set it into a card-like form, God says Hallmark will be your middle name, and that is the word of the Lord to you. Amen. Wow. Prophet Deborah. And I just hear God said, this is the season, this is the time, woman of God, where you need to press in. Do not allow um, negativity, do not allow distractions to stop that which God has started on the inside of you because God said you're going to reach and you're going to embrace those things that you've been believing God for. Amen. Prophet Thompson. And uh, Camille, you, you're going to know that you're in a period of your life when you're going to really um, take a, a fresh look at where you're going and how you're going to get there. There's going to be a time when you make some critical decisions deep within the heart. You're going to draw on the nature of the consciousness that you're a winner never a loser. You're going to overcome some obstructions and some things that have been difficult for you. But as you press, you're going to find the breakthrough, and that's the word of the Lord. Amen. Continue and I, on. And I had the spirit of the Lord saying that he has removed the spirit of hesitation from you. And now you will step forth, and things will begin to manifest, and blessings shall overflow. And that is the word of the Lord. Amen. Prophets Masquerade. And yes, woman of God, I hear the word of the Lord. God said, this is a season where you're going through change, but this change is for the better. And something is in you for you to build women, young women. I just see a builder in you. And God said, you're going to begin to tap that gift in you to begin to build women in this, se this season. Now, also, I'm looking at, like, a housing situation, like either something um, needs to... Um, be redone in your home. I don't know what this is, like a remodeling or something. But God said, get ready because God said he's going to bring the resources concerning that matter. I just see you redoing something in the house, and that's the word of the Lord. All right. Are you glad that you called in today? Oh, yes, of course. Thank you so much. God bless you. Let me hear you saying that's the what? And that's the power of prophecy. Thank you all. I love you all, and I hope to be with you all, too. Thank you so much. God bless. Um, okay, bye-bye. All right. 